All right, well, since I'm bored and I've been posting shorts with little to no traction, I've decided to completely give up on maintaining a professional air of mystery because you can't be mysterious if no one gives a crap about you. After months of boredom and hiding in my closet, I've decided to make fun of artists because I'm an artist and I'm not depressed, you're depressed. Oh, here are a few. Classical. You're the one who picked up a paintbrush at the very early age, dipped those bristles in Crayola finger paint, and say that this is what you wanted to do for the rest of your life. You probably enjoy more calming music or you jam out to MCR. It really depends on how elegantly nude you you want your subject to be. As you've grown into teenhood and early adulthood, you've realized your kinks and decided to focus on that particular part of the body and pass it off as anatomy study. In adulthood, you've accepted all flaws of the human body and probably have lost the ability to smell paint. Emo. You do enjoy MCR while drawing and you're not afraid to show it. Black leather, silver spikes, and claiming that the color pink makes your eyes burn is your thing. Drawing your OCs is how you cope with being a family disappointment, and drawing gore is most certainly how you let off some steam. Going into adulthood and claiming that it wasn't a phase is your future, and your personality most likely has bubbled out to a more positive outlook, but with even more horrifying art to prove it. Horror is your jam, and you get a sense of pride every single time you hear the- Furry. You grew up watching the Disney Robin Hood and designed your own hero to jump into the story. This OC stuck with you as you grew older and you still love it to this day. Teen years rolled around and you suddenly found Blaze the Cat from Sonic the Hedgehog attractive but were too scared to share and drew out your fantasies instead. Putting your sketchbook under lock and key was a natural thing to do and usually drew in a different sketchbook leading people to believe that you just really 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 loved cats and foxes and didn't have an over obsession with one particular character. The normal. You have no art block you have no cravings for pointless fan art. You read books that keep you well grounded and you're probably dead because there's no way that you're a normal artist. It doesn't exist. You're not an artist. You're not even normal. You're a deceiving, dream-crushing weirdo outcast of outcasts. You're the outsider the emo wants to believe they are. And that's the table of contents for artists. There you go. You're welcome.